Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing today? Um, thought I'd bring you along. I'm going to cook some beef stew. And um, thought maybe I would videotape a little bit of it. Right now, I'm just getting my onion ready. So, you know, got to have onion if you're going to make stew. It won't be really low car. Uh, low carb it's not going to be high carb but it won't be that low either hold on a second i didn't prepare my um <laughs> scrap i have a bowl here that i put up here when i'm doing things that way, I don't have to keep running to my trash can. I got it right here. So, anyway, we're going to chop up. A, this is just a small onion. We have a small amount of onion occasionally. The older you get, it seems to, with us anyway, our systems just don't take to onion very well. So, we don't need a whole lot. Besides, they are high in carb. I eat very many of them. And even though my soup is not really low carb, I still try to keep it as low as I can. And I'm waiting for my daughter. She's coming over for us to work in my craft room. So I thought I'd get things prepared while I'm waiting. I'm going to be chopping up these onions and getting those ready. I don't like them too big. So, and this is about probably a cup full. I, I don't think it's much more than a cup. Because, it, like I said, it's just, a, it's just a small onion that I chopped. So, put them in the bowl. They're ready to go. And put that aside. And then I go to the refrigerator, of course, because I didn't get everything out. I guess I should have got everything prepared before I started taping, you guys. <laughs> you know, I got a little bit of celery left, so I'm going to put it in. Gotta wash it off. I'm gonna get this all chopped up. Oops. Get that off. Don't want to eat no dirt in my soup. Very picky. Very picky picky. Okay. Let's see. Yep. I make sure I didn't have any dirt hiding in there. I'm just going to cut these. Small, not very big. Got a few big slices, which I'll slice down. And I'm going to use the leaves, too. Because I don't mind having the leaves in. Because really, it just kind of, they get lost with everything else. Because I don't have a lot of celery, but I need to use it up. So. I figure why not add it to the soup. Right? Okay. That's probably about a cup. Alright, you guys, I'm not going to keep, keep you, I'm going to pause this while I chop up everything. I'm going to do two, um... I'm going to do two potatoes, because they're small, I'm going to do three. Um, get those chopped up, ready to go in. I'm going to cut these carrots up, and, and then I'll come back and show you how I'm going to put it all together. So, I shall be back. I got the potatoes almost ready. I 
cut out the bad spots and I'm just cubing them not in huge cubes because like I said I'm only putting three they're red potatoes um, which are really good in soups so my family if I make my beef stew and I don't put potatoes in it they get upset so I do it for you know for them so that's three red potatoes Now, we need to do some carrots. Boom. Don't have to do a whole lot to the carrots because they're already small baby carrots. I just chop them in little round pieces don't have to be too small. If you notice that you get too big a chunk, you can always go back. Alright, you guys, I'll be back when I get this all done. Okay, I'm using, this is stew meat. It's just lean stew meat. Um, it's $5.98 a pound. This wasn't too bad. But what I like to do with my stew meat and as you notice, I changed out my cutting board because I don't cut my meat on the same uh, board as I do my vegetables. I have a wooden cutting board that I use for that. Actually, it was a Paula Dean cutting board, which I love. And then this is just a Walmart cutting board. It's meat only. I marked it. I take like some of these chunks that are big. And I just kind of cut them down because, you know, want to make sure we got lots of meat in our stew. And I'm only cutting the biggest pieces just by picking around. Because usually if you pick around, there's some pretty good sized ones in there. And then after I do this, I'll show you guys how I'm going to brown it up and season it. So, I'm going to pause while I finish this and I'll be back. Okay, I got in my skillet a little butter and a little bacon grease. So, this is the best I can set up the camera for. So, I'm going to put my meat in. I got it um, I got it in the stock. I like to brown my meat and get the, you know, the the raw, bloody flavor out of it before I add my vegetables and stuff. But while I'm browning my meat, I like to add spices. And what I like to add is garlic salt. And I just use the the great value brand and you guys I don't measure anything when it comes to my spices I put it in my hand like that and I put it in there that's how I measure and hope it comes out <laughs> sometimes I have to add more uh, sometimes I'm lucky and I get it right on moisture got into my garlic. Let's see. I like to add um, bear with me. It's time to get scattered. I put a little basil in, but I don't use very much of the basil. Maybe, maybe a teaspoon. Maybe. I use Italian seasoning. A good 
palm pool. I use all dry ingredients. Um, and I use all uh, parsley flakes. About like that. Like I said, I don't measure. And then I use salt. I use the pink Himalayan salt. I know I'm not pronouncing it correct, but and I probably will add more salt to this as it cooks. Um, because I'd rather under salt and add more than the over salt. You can't take it out, but you can put it in. <laughs> Tight thing. This is good stir. Now that this is where I'm at, lots of good flavors. I'm going to add my onion. And my celery. and my carrots. I'm going to let those go for a minute and I'll be back when I'm ready to add the other ingredients. Now I also add a can of great value tomato paste. Um, you don't have to use the paste. You can use the tomato sauce but I like the paste. And I put a whole can in. It's just six ounces. Um, and then I add water. I usually put three cans of water in. One. Sorry, you guys, my arm is getting right in the way. There's two. Because you're sitting in my sink. There's three. Now, if you're sensitive to garlic salt, you can use the powder. You don't have, or, or you know, to salt in general. You can use the powder. You don't have to use salt. This is where I am. This is what we look like right now. Yummy. See? Okay. To this, I'm going to add a can of uh, diced tomatoes. It's, again, great value. And I'll add my potatoes. Three small uh, red potatoes. And that's pretty much what I put in. If I decide to add anything else, I will let you know. But for now, I'm going to put a lid on this. It's got to cook for maybe an hour or so. Uh, we'll check it. And I'll come back and show you what the finished product is like. Okay, you guys. Um, I did add a can of green beans and a can of corn to this. And this is where we're at now. It's going to cook for probably an hour or longer until the potatoes are tender and the carrots are tender. And then we'll come back and we'll taste it and see if we need any other seasonings. So I'll catch you guys in a little while. And the corn and green beans were just great value. Okay, y'all, time to see the finished product. Oh, yes. The stew is done. Doesn't that look good? My husband said it was a winner. He's already had a bowl. Yeah, he couldn't wait. Anyway, I'm going to put this on pause. And I'm going to fix you up and show you how I serve it. Oh, yeah. you got to have 
cornbread muffins with beef stew or chili. Don't do like I did though when you make your muffins. Don't take them out and take them out of the pan right away because they will break apart. Not all of them broke, but some of them did. Okay, what I do is I take a bowl, I put a muffin in it, and I'll show you. the way I serve it up. Got your muffin in there and your soup on top. Mm -hmm. And then when you break into it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to move you up. You have to forgive me. I've been painting. <laughs> and you know, I had to get my stew ready because Everybody's been wanting stew, so had to get it ready. My mouth is watering. <laughs> so, mm. perfect. Perfect. You guys, you got to try this soup. It is so good. And, like I said, the seasoning in it. That's uh, everything that I showed you guys that I put in. It's exactly how I put it in, but you got to taste it after it cooks a little while to see if you need any more seasoning. Now, I usually add oregano to it, but I don't have any oregano. But my Italian seasoning has a uh, has oregano in it, so you just add a little more of that, and you, you know, you got the same thing. Mm -mm -mm. That's good. We finally got a sunny day. I'm so happy for that. All right, you guys. I'm glad you joined me in my little cooking video. I'm going to be sending this video strictly for my son and my daughter in Florida. They love my beef stew. And then I have a, um, a nephew that likes it also. So I might even send this link to him. Who knows? Anyway, you guys, I'm glad you joined me. I hope you like my video. Please share it. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, welcome to my channel. I hope to do a lot more different types of videos for you guys. And cooking may be one of them. So, my saying is, God bless each one of you. And keep on smiling. And I'll see you in the next video.